everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sword and Shield Blind Let's Play. In the last episode, we finally reached the town of Spikemouth, even fighting off against rival Marnie for the second time. And we cleared all the trainers from the Snow City to Spikemouth all the way back to Hammerlock with all the routes that are connected. And we even added a new Pokemon to the team for now. Uh, being Tuxy, the, the, the Eskew, that's what it's called. I went and found that in the wild area at the start of the episode, because I, I like the design. I want an ice type, but I don't think this is going to be the full-time Pokemon. But for now, we've got somebody else to go ahead and go along on the ride here with us. And Mind Shuffler is still not evolved, because I have a feeling that I'm missing the method on how to evolve it. So, my idea... I have a couple ideas that I want to go with before we actually commit to the episode. So, first of all, I want Mind Shuffler to remember a move. There's a move that I'm thinking of that might actually have to do with its evolution, and that is Curse. Um, the reason for this is, is it's cursed. I did, out of all the moves that it has, this has got to be the one if there's a move that it has to have upon level up. If that's the case, I'm really going to kick myself because I didn't teach Curse when we first had the ability to. And my other two ideas are leveling it up inside of the Galar Mine. Um, the reason for that is stones, gems, maybe there's something to do with it. I don't know, but it's something I'd like to try. I really want to get um, Mind Shuffler Evolved. If I can't figure it out, I don't want to look it up. I'd feel bad. I want to do this first playthrough without looking anything up. And my next playthrough will be more experienced, obviously. But I figure, how close are you to leveling up? If you're far, I'll use a rare candy. You're pretty far. So, I mean, what's a waste of a rare candy at this point? I was going to save and shut it off if it didn't work. But let's find out. Where's Rare Candy? Oh yeah, they're in other items for some reason now. Alright. Does this do anything? Mm, 48. Power Split. Okay, uh, what if Power Split's the move? Um, I guess... Oh, we have the Payback DM. We'll get rid of Payback. Just in case this is a move that it needs to have. Alright. Guard Split. Okay, then that's probably not the case. I'm not gonna teach them both. And that's it. It doesn't evolve. Why? What do I have to do? This is really unfortunate. Because, like, I could literally never figure it out. It could be ridiculous. What kind of TMs can you learn? Rest, Rock Slide, Snore. <sighs> this is really tough. I feel awful. I don't want to look it up, but I want him to evolve. Well, first of all, let's teach Payback back, because I have the TM, I believe. It was like the first TM we got, wasn't it? Yeah, here's Payback. All right. Um, let's teach back, back to Mine Shuffler, and I can go to the other mine, I suppose. Oh, man, this sucks. Maybe, no, it would be so convoluted if it had to have Curse in a battle or something. Well, let's go to where we caught it. See, I doubt it would be where we caught it, because that would mean we'd just evolve it immediately. It has to be something special, but what? I'm gonna let it go for a little while. I'm just gonna go take on the Jim and Spike myth. Um, and hope, I guess. Um... If we still don't have it evolved after Spike Muff, I guess... It would have to have, like, a Pokemon in your party, is my thought. Level up with a certain Pokemon in the party. But what kind of Pokemon is the thing? Or level up in the wild area? I already did that, didn't I? What's the weather look like in that other spot that where we caught Eskew? Still the same? Yeah, it's still snowing. Everything's snowing. <laughs> Alright. I say we just go inside of Spike Myth here and take the gym here. It's a dark type gym. 
which is really, really exciting. So we can at least have some excitement there, which, yeah, I mean, we're good against it with... Oh, no, it's a dark type, not ghost. All right, um... Well, Evil Dave would be really good. Let's lead with Project Nova. I like using Project Nova. Not my best Pokemon, not the best move set. That's another Pokemon I'd like to evolve, but we don't know if it evolves. So we talk to everybody in the Pokemon Center. Let's just go down the street and talk to people. Oh, yeah, Marnie's here for us. With the shutter closed, nobody's going to be able to challenge the gym. i got to look into this. Yeah, what's going on, Marnie? What, you said there was a dark type gym. I just so happen to have too many, uh, too many of these. So you can have it. Pierre's leak card. Okay. Well, welcome to Spike Month. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Hold on, mate. If you're going to take on the gym, you better change into your uniform. Is this the gym? If you're looking for the gym leader, he's straight ahead from here. Really? Um... Well, let's go ahead and look at his card. Are we just going to fight the gym immediately here? Is Marnie the gym leader? No, this is Pierre's. Okay, I was going to say, what's going on? All right, Spike Month lacks a power spot that would allow Pokemon to Dynamax, and thus not many fans come to visit the town. Pierre's feels responsible for allowing his town to fall into obscurity and dilapidation. Once in battle, Pierre's tends to get riled up and will often reveal his strategy early on, but he has strength and skill to triumph regardless. Once his true passions are singing and strong... However, his true passions are singing and songwriting, and his talents in these fields are well known. As such, he currently hopes that his youngest sister will take over his gym leader. Is Piers... Marnie's brother? Well... What are we gonna do here? Um... Gym Challenger, you wanna get past me, but I don't want that. It's basically a battle between our desires. Alright, let's go ahead and fight off against some Team Yell Grons. I knew Team Yell's leader was going to go ahead and be the gym leader. That's really cool. Alright, he's got a Linoon. Just a regular, dark, normal type. Let's do this, Project Nova. Alright, this gym is gonna be much different than the ones we've been fighting, but... Let's see how much damage Draco Meteor do to this Linoon. Hey, we avoided the takedown. Really nice to see. Alright, Draco Meteor. How much you gonna do? You've not been too strong lately, but that did a lot of damage to that Linoon. And he only has one Pokemon, so the special attack drop doesn't really matter that much. Hopefully Bulldoze will be enough to finish it off from here. And it missed with me with Takedown. I was hoping it would miss with Fury Swipes too, but it only hit twice, so it basically missed. And that's it for Linoon in this grunt. Nice work, Project Nova. Absolutely love to see him putting in work. And a little 45 for Evil Dave. It's cool to see as well. Team Yell Grunt has been defeated. Nice work. All right, there's another one, though, behind this guy, probably. So, But at least it starts a new battle, because now I'll be able to use Draco Meteor again. Oh, no, they're not going to fight them both? Then what's going on? Can't go in there. This is a weird town. Uh, now I got to fight these guys? No? You know the Pokemon move Light Screen? Yeah. Mr. Mime is a dancing Pokemon. It makes for a cheery member of our team. Whoa. Uh, some kind of invisible wall. You can't get through no matter how hard you try. All right, we got to go through this door? I'm so confused right now. All right, what's this? A gym challenger made it through? All us Team Yell members have blocked the way. Don't think we'll let you just waltz through. All right, Team Yell again. We got this grunt now. Do I have to fight that Mr. Mime? Thievil, okay. I was going to say, Mr. Mime's not a dark type. What's going on there? All right, Project Nova, you're going to take down this Thievil with ease. I know you will. She only has one Pokemon. I guess we'll start with the Bulldoze. I was going to use Draco Meteor, but I misclicked. Doesn't really matter. We might be able to lower its speed enough to be able to outspeed next turn. Unlikely, because Thievil's probably insanely fast. At least compared to Project Nova. And one speed drop probably won't make the difference. But if it does, that'll be cool. Because I bet Draco Meteor will definitely be enough to finish this thing off from here. I'm glad we taught it. I almost didn't teach Draco Meteor because it's inaccurate. It's just... Lowers your special attack. It's not a really good attack to have, but it's the only special attack that Project Nova has, so... And it doesn't really do that much damage anyways, as you see there. Maybe I should give Project Nova the Rocky Helmet instead of the Leftovers. I feel like that might prove a little bit better, because he's pretty defensive, I do believe. Regardless, let's use Rock Blast. Hopefully we hit. Thank you, and that'll finish off Thievil, because it's only needed to hit twice, and that's the only... That's the lowest it could do. Alright, nice work, Thievil. Oh, nice work, Project Nova, I mean, not Thievil. Nice work, Defeating Thievil. There we go. 
All right, tell your Mr. Mime to stop. I don't have time for this. It was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon are in awe of you and your team. Go on through and check out your neon signs. Neon signs? What are you doing, Mr. Mime? Let it go. Yeah, run off, loser. <laughs> Did you see him? Okay, it says to go to the right. Can I go to this door? No. Okay, let's go ahead and give the Rocky helmet to Project Nova. And then we can give the um, leftovers, I guess, to Patty for now. Um, Project Nova, Rocky Helmet, and then Rocky Helmet should be in here, I think. Rocky Helmet. Actually, Assault Vest could be pretty sweet, since we're not using anything that's not attacking. Rocky Helmet? Are you kidding me? Is it still in the PC? I guess, here, you can have the Assault Vest. Why not? Um, but what is your defense and special defense like, Project Nova? Defense 103, special defense 91. So yeah, the Assault Vest would be pretty good there. Water Absorb has proved to be quite useless with the AI. They've never used a water move on him at all. It's a sad time. All right, you Hyper Potion on Nova. And continue through. I'm surprised I'm using Project Nova as my Pokemon for this gym. Do you have any... Can you learn Brick Break? You don't even have hands. Why would you learn Brick Break? Anything that you can learn that would be good against Dark. Brutal Swings, not going to be good against Dark. Uh, anything. Rock Tomb, no. Dive, probably not. Whirlpool, no. Yeah, the move pool for Project Nova sucks. Like, it's really bad. Wow. Wow. Okay, um, let's just continue. I bet, yeah, I wonder if we gotta fight Marnie or something up here. I, I wonder, like, that would be kind of dumb, though, because we just fought her. I'm yelling for no reason. <laughs> wow, they're cool. They jumped out of the the building. That's something. Did I surprise you? I'm a little surprised how much my legs hurt after that landing. If I stay like this for too long, it'll hurt so bad I might cry. So I'll shake it off with a battle. Yeah, shake off your pain. Grunt. <laughs> I wish they had names, I tell you. All right, he's got a Scrafty. Um, I'm not going to be able to do too much to Scrafty with Project Nova. He's not very strong, so I should just let Evil Dave come in here, easily clean this up. He's only got the Scrafty. How bad can it be? Hopefully it uses high jump kick and misses. That'd be cool. That's needs payback, which won't do very much damage at all. It's very resistant to payback. All right, Scrafty, break. Spirit break. I it was like, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say brick break, but unfortunately, we didn't have brick break. We used spirit break. It's a new move, I think. I'm pretty certain. All right, Project Nova hit 42, and now you learn Stomp. What a move, pool, bud. Really, you finally learn an attack, and it's Stomp. Why? Watch it needs Stomp to evolve. I could see it. I don't think it evolves. <laughs> I've said that so many times. I wish I knew. But there's no way of knowing. I would re I would teach Stomp if I could go back right now. Because think about it. Think about how possible it is Stomp evolves that thing. Alright. What do we do here? The HP Pokemon not looking so good? No, we're doing fine. This is a really weird gym mission. Just fighting Team Yell Grunts, huh? Well, I'm glad this is a single battle. The double battle with Team Yell has been pretty deadly. Whoa, a Weavile. Okay. Um, that's scary, because Weavile is just a really strong Pokemon. It's putting down the pressure. That's fine. Um, well, I guess we have Rock Blast. We have something super effective, at least. It would have to have a Dragon or Fairy move to be super effective against Nova here, so... Yeah, Rock Blast. We'll be able to fight with Project Nova with his very, very limited move pool. You only hit three times, though, which kind of stinks. I wish it was all five. It would have finished this off real quick-like for me. Ice Shard? Nah, we're fine. The defense behind Nova is insane. I'm glad I got the fossil. That's pretty sweet. I mean, I could have found a completely different fossil, and who knows where we'd be right now. Instead of the Drake, there might be another one. I assume there is another fossil Pokemon in the game. But I wonder what it looks like. There's so much to discover about this game still. There's so many new Pokemon I have no idea about yet. 
There's so much to discover. And I bet we're about to meet some new Pokemon here in a minute, too, with the gym leader. Some new dark types. I bet he has a... Uh, whatever Evil Dave is. I always forget. Why did I give them nicknames? This is actually hard. Alright, Evil Dave, you were like a, a, a Sneevil? <laughs> I don't remember at all. What are you? A Grim Snarl. I bet his ace is probably a Grim Snarl, but that doesn't matter to me. We're done here now, right? We've fought a lot of trainers. Alright. Gym mission complete. No, Team Yell takes the field. This might be our gym challenge, but I won't let you ruin our cool secret hangout. All right, time for a pincer attack. We'll do whatever it takes. Another one? I didn't have enough time to get my disguise ready. Oh my god, he doesn't have a disguise. That's right, Team Yell has actually made up a spike with the gym trainers. Is that what this is? Challenge by Team Yell, Grunt, and Gym Trainer Joshua. Oh my god. So Team Yell is just gym trainers? Actually, a grunt has a name! Oh my god, that is amazing. Um, well, I say we just Draco Meteor this Drapion, because Drapion is probably the bigger threat here. And then let's Icicle Spear the Drapion. Try and get it out immediately. Lyper's not really a scary Pokemon, so if we double down right here, hopefully we'll take out the Drapion, and then we can focus the Weavile the next... Well, the, the Lyper next turn. Did I say Weavile? I might have. I don't know. I've been talking a lot, and I sometimes will trip on words when I've recorded 15 episodes in a row. I don't know how many episodes it's actually been today, but it's a lot of episodes. Will you hit five times? Never mind. Got me off. <laughs> I was gonna say, just hit five times right now, and we can be done with Drapion, and then Draco Meteor the Lyper, but we're gonna do that anyways, because you missed. <laughs> Alright, Draco Meteor the Lyper. Actually, we're gonna Rock Blast the Drapion, and then we're gonna Icicle Spear the Lyper, because that's probably my better chance of actually finishing the fight on this turn, because you only gotta hit three times. Good, that's it for Liper. Glad to see it. Alright, now you need to hit probably four times, at least. Maybe even five times to take this Drapion out with Rock Blast. They're pretty bulky, and you're not stabbed. Rock Blast isn't the strongest move. You're not the strongest Pokemon. A one. I don't think even five would take it out of here. Will it? I think it might. It would have. But you failed me, Project Nova. You've broken my heart in so many pieces. We're just going to Weather Ball to finish it off. We're out speeding, so. Just, I mean, Icicle Spear doesn't have a chance to miss, actually. It's 100%, so. It wouldn't have mattered what I did. All right. That should be the, the rest of the gym trainers, which is really sweet. I'm looking forward to this. That's cool, though, that they're just gym trainers with an outfit on. I love that little touch. That is adorable to me. Uh, whatever, our gym leader's up next, but he's really strong. You got that? That means I won't get in trouble for not getting my disguise on. Oh, God. That's hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and heal up, and it's time for the gym leader. Let's lead with Project Nova still. And I guess let's use an Aether on... Now nah, we don't need Aether on Dr Draco Meteor. We'll only use it once, probably. Let's go for it. Whoa, what's Marnie doing? Shut your gob. Yeah, that's definitely her brother. Oh, I'm really sorry, Chroma. The lot of Spike Muts telling me they locked down the city for my sake. Really? Spike Muts just keep getting worse and worse. All Pierce says is, don't worry. So, so we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challengers. We thought we could stop the other gym challengers from reaching the gym. Then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make the champion cup. That's a good idea, I suppose. And we figured that increased the chances of our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. Oh, that's no way to help someone at all. Chroma, no need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go in and face the gym leader. Oh, man. This is like Roxy's gym. It's pretty sweet. Why is there Toxel if it's a dark type gym? What if Patty has another form and it's a dark type form? Hmm. I don't know. We're about to find out. It's time for our next gym challenge. And my first time ever getting to battle a dark type gym. It's a wonderful day. 
This is a monumental experience. A dark type gym in Pokemon. I'm excited. It looks like poison, but I'm glad it's dark. Uh, so you're finally here, huh? See, I'm I'm not really a great gym leader. Figured that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon, but I hope you still enjoy the battle. All right. Let's do this. Time for our seventh gym battle of our Pokemon Sword and Shield Let's Play versus the Dark Type Gym Leader Piers, number 61 here in Spike Muth City. Let's do this. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. All right, here we go. The Dark Type Gym Leader Piers. All right, first up is gonna be Scrafty. Good to see it. That's an easy knockout if we go ahead and use Evil Dave. I need your help, Project Nova. I know you can do it. But not this Pokemon. Everyone cheer on my Pokemon. Let's do it. Scrafty, intimidate the opponent. It does have intimidate. Okay. Interesting. Um, That would be really good to go ahead and get on Mind Shuffler, but that's pretty risky. I say we just bring Project Nova out of the battle immediately and let Evil Dave come in and take this Scrafty out of here. All right. What's it going to do to Evil Dave? fake out. Fine. We were going to switch anyways. I'm glad that we did it. All right. Evil Dave spirit break this crafty. And that should definitely be it for this dark fighting type. Nice work. All right. Three Pokemon remain. Hopefully there's something we've never seen before. All right. Cool. Level 43 for Project Nova. Next up. Obstagoon. All right. It's four times a week to dark. Well, fighting. Let's just go for the evil Dave clean sweep. Next up is Obstagoon. It's a dark normal type. Level 46. Time to meet another member of my crew. Face the proud high roar of my Obstagoon. Oh, I love the rhyming. It's great. I sh no, I couldn't use Fake Out. That's right. It's going to go for Obstruct. Oh, no. I forgot about that attack. We encountered one in the wild. It protects itself and then lowers my defense harshly. That's awful. That's a really, really powerful attack. Lowers my defense two stages just for attacking. But we're going to go Glass Cannon on this one. The Shadow Claw should do a lot, even though we resist it because of the defense droppings. Power Up Punch, Evil Dave! It's not going to one-shot it, but the next one should take it out. And that's going to give us plus two attack, which is going to be crucial for his remaining Pokemon. Power Up Punch, Evil Dave! Oh, it still wasn't enough. All right. What if it has Roar? <gasps> Counter! Oh, Evil Dave, it's over for you for this fight. I That caught me off guard big time. And that's my dark type killer. We could be in trouble here. Yikes. Um. Well, I guess I'm going to let Patty come in and finish this Obstagoon off. Because if I use Overcharge, that's a special attack. Meaning I won't be obstructed if it uses it. But I think he's going to heal. No, he went for Obstruct. Okay. Um, I think that would only work on physical moves. So let's see. Overdrive will be protected. And it didn't lower my defense. Good to see. All right. Patty Overdrive. Take this Obstagoon out of here. All right. That's one obstacle down. Two Pokemon to go. Let's see what they are. I am ready. Molly hit level 50. And Patty hit 47. Really cool. All right. Malamar. Whoa. Interesting. Okay. Huh. I don't have anything with a bug type attack. What would I want to do here? Hmm. I'm going to leave Patty in command for this Malamar. Very interesting team. All right, Malamar is a dark psychic type. It's going to mess me up with its contrary ability. Oh my god, what if it has superpower? That would be awful. All right, Patty, kick this into overdrive once more. How much is that going to do? Nice. All right, Psycho Cut. Ooh, I forgot. Psychic type, right. That's fine. We took it really nicely. And as long as we're not speed tied for some ungodly reason, Patty's going to kick it into overdrive one more time and get rid of this Malamar. Nice work, Patty. All right. One Pokemon remains. It's his ace. It's probably something we've never seen before. What is next? 
Pierre's final Pokemon of this Dark type gym and our seventh gym challenge is a Skunk Tank. Okay, come on back, Patty. Let's do this Mind Shuffler. Nice, bare bones gym battle, I suppose. No Dynamaxing, got, no Dynamaxing, nothing. He doesn't do encores. Not songs, not moves, not Pokemon. All right, Skuntank is his ace and his final Pokemon for some reason. Everyone's gonna stink, but who cares? Go Skuntank, eat Sucker Punch and Toxic. It has Sucker Punch. I can take it. <laughs> I hope. Let's go use Screech. All right, Screech and Sucker Punch. That's kind of nasty. All right, don't have to worry about Dynamaxing at least. Let's hit this thing with an Earthquake Mind Shuffler. How much is that going to do? One shot, and you're out of here. Nice work, Mind Shuffler, with a crit. Hey, Dark's a weak type, and you proved it here today, Piers. Great work. All right, level 49 for Mind Shuffler, and that's it for Piers. Yeah! Oh, my little Yaw Mask. He wants to evolve so bad. But I don't know how to evolve him. Makes me sad. But that's alright. Alright, Piers, give me that gym badge. My seventh badge. I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Give it to me. I'm ready. Come on. Here's your dark badge. There's a dark badge! We got our seventh gym badge of this adventure. The Dark Badge from Piers. Oh my god, there's a dark type gym. There's a dark type badge. And I can now catch Pokemon up to level 55. And I got a dark type uniform. Oh wow. My little sis Marnie's gonna challenge me next time. That, yeah, that is her brother. Oh, so you're watching sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned to battle and all that. Aw, that reminds me, Marnie. There's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here and spike with us that's gym leader. Yeah, I know. You plan to retire after the Champions Cup. I think you've really become a great gym leader, even if you don't dynam Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my big answer is a big fat no. I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't even be able to be a gym leader. Now, that's a good point, you know. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be the champion. Hey, Chroma, thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so clear off for a bit. Oh, man. Wow. You seriously beat Piers? Here's a TM to remember this moment. TM85! Snarl! There we go! All right. I love it. Whoa. Did the doors open? Yeah, they did. Hey, there's some trouble in... Oh, there's trouble in Route 9. It's so bad, even the champions come to sort things out. Really? I am ready to go to Route 9. But I have got the... Oh, Route 9, really? That's... Oh, it's just right outside. Never mind. What's going on, Leon? Come on. Chroma, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. For you, that's winning the gym challenge. There's only... For the only gym badge left is the one you'll get from the Dragon Gym's leader, Rehan, huh? Rehan's the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble with here with my name on it, but don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. What's making that noise? I want to know. Is it inside the tunnel? Yeah. All right, I'm totally following Leon. Obviously. But we're going to do that in the next episode so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did a like is appreciated it helps out a great deal and if you want to see more pokemon videos like this don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of all future uploads for this series and the channel as a whole i can't believe it we just fought the seventh gym of the game and it was the dark type gym that exists in this timeline the dark type gym i am so excited I cannot believe it, and I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I can't wait to see what's in store for us next. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching.